Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt Deville with Cutter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. Get this. Deontay Wilder urges Anthony Joshua to stay focused for his fight with Otto Eileen. He said, don't look ahead. <laughs> Heavyweight contender Deontay Wilder has urged British star Anthony Joshua to stay focused before Otto Vilene. And he says, I like that fight between those two guys and may the best man win, Wilder told Talk Sports. He said, I think Joshua, I see him winning this fight if his mind is in the right place. If he goes in there with self-confidence and the will to win and the motion to go and do what he's got to do and get the job done, then I see him winning the fight. But if he goes in there thinking about what's next, especially when it's pertaining to me or any other thing outside of that, then he might find himself in some big trouble. One on the day of the fight, we'll find out. But I do have him winning that fight, and hopefully everything serves its purpose right, and he does come out and win. And once that happens, I come out with the win. And he comes out with the win. Great things are happening after that. That's for sure. Those are the words of Deontay Wilder, the bronze bomber. And let me counterpunch. I think Wilder is absolutely positively correct. You know, Joshua should focus on Otto Wileen. But here's the counterpunch. Who says he's not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if we look at like the interviews with Wilder and Joshua, the one I saw yesterday with Joshua, okay, he hadn't had many. I think Fight Hub interviewed him. He was only talking about Wileen. Wileen was his only focus. He didn't really want to talk much about Wilder at all. You know, um, they asked him about Wilder and he was like, okay, good luck to him. That's it. He didn't say, hey, Wilder needs to be focused. Wilder needs to do this. Wilder needs to be that. Wilder needs to be careful or he could find himself in trouble. He didn't say that at all. He said, no, I'm focusing on Wileen. That's the job that I have. That's the fight that I have. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I'm, I'm worried about versus Wilder. Hey, Joshua needs to do this. Joshua needs to do that. But at the in, in hindsight, you need to be worried about Parker, okay? Not what Joshua needs to be doing. That totally contradicts what the hell you're talking about. I get like your, your reasoning from, for concern, which I kind of doubt, honestly. But at the end of the day, if you're so concerned about what a fighter should be doing versus you having your own fight, that's actually counterproductive and contradicting all at the same damn time, okay? Don't worry about what Joshua's doing. You worry about your win. However, I will say this in defense of Wilder. I will say this. I think Wilder is more worried about the Joshua fight because I think it's not the Parker fight that's going to get him the ching-ching. OK, it's going to get him that career high payday. It's not that fight. It's going to be the Joshua fight. So I do get his concern. His concern is finances. That's his concern. It ain't. Oh, man, Joshua do this. I think maybe now he really hopes Joshua wins. Because I know for a fact in 2019, when Wilder, when Joshua failed to Andy Ruiz, that was the happiest man on the planet. Deontay Wilder, I mean, he was the happiest man on the planet. Let's be real. So you got to ask yourself like, okay, happiest man on the planet. How eager were you to fight Anthony Joshua in 2019 after turning down that DAZN money? You know, that should have really told you everything right there. However, why were you happy about a fighter that you, that you claimed you wanted to fight so bad when he got beat, when he was sending you offers? When you were saying he's running or he's begging, rather, you went from he's running to he's begging.
But then again, when he lost, you were happy about it because you had this long drawn out. He did, he didn't have a heart of a champion. All of his his fights were all just really lies, and he had a blowed up resume and all that stuff. If you guys can remember that, because I sure as hell do, because I was like, the first thing I thought about, I was like, well, why doesn't he have the same mindset or 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 response? like Jarrell Miller did when Jarrell Miller signed to fight him. It's just he got popped with drugs. So when Jarrell Miller found out that Andy Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua, this dude was like, <sighs> lost for words. That's how he was like. He was lost for words. And for Jarrell Miller, that's saying a lot because Jarrell Miller can talk more shit than Jesse Jackson, George Bush, and Martin Luther the King all at the same time. You know what I mean? But he was speechless because he was in awe. He was in shock. And I don't mean that type of happy shock. No, he was pissed off. But then yet you had Wilder, you know, he turned into a whole like, oh, yeah, I told you this guy wasn't nothing. I told you this. I told you that. No, you should be devastated because that was the guy you wanted to fight. You wanted to dethrone. You wanted to take that O. You wanted to show Match Room and Eddie Hearn and all those guys that you had a guy that wasn't about anything. And I was the guy to do it. So why weren't you like that then? But now, people. I think Deontay Wilder really wants him to win, but I think he's worried about too much about what Anthony Joshua's doing because he's worried about that bag. Okay, that's what he's worried about. He's Now he's saying, please, please, Joshua, please don't F this up for me. You know what I mean? I got a fine fiance or whatever she is, fine significant other. I'm trying to get married next year, late next year. So when I when if you do knock out Otto Wileen and I'm going to knock out Joseph Parker, you know, um, I'm going to fight you and then I know I'm going to knock you out or I feel I'm going to knock you out, but I'm going to do it for 50 to 60 mil. That's what Deontay Wilder's worried about because Deontay wants to quad. He wants to double his money of the career that he made before he lost to Tyson Fury, wasting time with him, might I add. Now he's just a big cheat, but you wasted your time with him, though. So really, that's what he's trying to do. Deontay Wilder, people, is playing catch-up. He's playing catch-up on the finances because Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua, both of those guys alike, have made the money that they can make, and they could, just, they could retire from the sport of boxing and never look back. He can as well, but he can't look back like they can look back if you guys understand what I'm saying. So I think the reason behind this is it's a plea like, hey, don't mess this up, AJ, you know? But the contradicting thing is, once again, coming around for the counterpunch is I think you're worried too much about AJ and I think you need to worry more about Joseph Parker. <laughs> but anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Deontay Wilder urging Anthony Joshua. Stay focused to win this fight to come see me of course please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch hey.